back from Skippy Trieste. Trieste was the first manned vessel to have reached the bottom of the Challenger Deep. Before we see about Trieste, we shall see what is bad for Skiffy. A bathyscaphy is a free-diving self-propelled deep-sea submersible, consisting of a crew cabin similar to a bathysphere, but suspended below a float rather than from a surface cable, as in the classic bathysphere design. A bathyscaphy's float has air tanks and gasoline tanks. The vehicle's gasoline tanks are lighter than water. This allows the bathyscaphy to float on the ocean's surface rather than sink immediately. Gasoline is also incompressible, meaning it does not shrink or compress under pressure. Trieste is a Swiss-designed, Italian-built deep-diving research back for Scuffy, which with its crew of two reached a record maximum depth of about 10,911 meters, 35,797 feet, in the deepest known part of the Earth's oceans, the Challenger D, in the Mariana Trench near Guam in the Pacific. January 23, 1960, Jack Pickard, son of the boat's designer August Pickard, and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh achieved the goal of Project Nectar. Trieste was designed by the Swiss scientist August Pickard and originally built in Italy. His pressure sphere, composed of two sections, was built by the company Exe Terni. Trieste was launched on August 26, 1953 into the Mediterranean Sea near the Isle of Capri. Trieste was operated by the French Navy. After several years of operation in the Mediterranean Sea, the Trieste was purchased by the United States Navy in 1958 for $250,000, equivalent to $2.2 million today. Nine metric tons, 20,000 pounds, of magnetic iron pellets were placed on the craft as ballast, both to speed the descent and allow ascent, since the extreme water pressures would not have permitted compressed or ballast expulsion tanks to be used at great depths. January 23, 1960, she reached the ocean floor in the Challenger Deep, the deepest southern part of the Mariana Trench, carrying Jack Pickard and Don Walsh. This was the first time a vessel, manned or unmanned, had reached the deepest known point of the Earth's oceans. The onboard systems indicated a depth of 11,521 meters, 37,799 feet, although this was revised later to 10,916 meters, 35,814 feet. The descent to the ocean floor took 4 hours 47 minutes at a descent rate of 0.9 meters per second, 3.2 kilometers per hour, 2.0 mph. After passing 9,000 meters, 30,000 feet, one of the outer plexiglass window panes cracked, shaking the entire vessel. The two men spent barely 20 minutes on the ocean floor. The temperature in the cabin was 7C, 45F, at the time. The ascent took 3 hours and 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.